Hello, now since the release of Rails 7, there have been lots of issues in making device the most popular authentication library work uh, by default with uh, an European Rails 7 application. One of the main reasons be was because of the new uh, Turbo response format and there no longer been uh, uh, Rails future S inside the new Rails 7 application. And uh, you see there were lots and lots of uh, issues in the uh, device repository and some people on Reddit were speculating about uh, device not being a good library to use in the Ruby on Rails 7 application anymore. Whereas the simple solution was to just uh, generate the device views and add data to be false to all the uh, views. But again, it would be a bit tedious. And now finally device uh, introduced a, common, a commit to fix the issues with uh, Rails 7 compatibility out of the box. But when trying to actually make a device uh, application work, uh, uh, I had some issues. So uh, I'm going to go through them right now. So here I've got a basic Ruby Rails application where I have just a scaffold of movies and I want to add device. So um, I'm going to the installation instructions and uh, I see that I need to add the gem device. So let me try to do it. I'll go to gem file, add uh, gem device. Now I will bundle install. So bundle install and next according to the instruction I will run rails generate device install. Okay now I'm gonna add uh, the notice and alert into application html.erb above yield. Uh, I'm going to add the mailer options for development. Okay, and uh, I'm going to generate device model user. So Rails generate device user, Rails DB migrate. And I will uh, require authentication for all the pages inside the application. So I will go to application controller and add before action authenticate user. Let's uh, start the server and see if device uh, actually works out of the box. So you see, I need to log in. Okay, I will uh, sign up, create an account, and uh, it says undefined method user URL. So it actually didn't work out of the box uh, for me. And uh, the actual point is, uh, I think, that we need to use device master branch. So not just say device, but uh, actually say uh, the path to the GitHub repository and say that we are going to use the branch main. So the GitHub path is going to be hot combo slash device and branch main. Now I will run bundle update. And you see this fetching the latest uh, version of device. So actually somewhere I read that device recommends always using the main branch. And let's see if it works now. So I'm going to uh, once again try to uh, create an account. Click sign up and you see uh, I click the button but nothing really happens. Let's uh, see what happens. So I'm clicking the sign up button and an action happens but uh, the user already exists but I don't see the errors rendered. And this is because uh, I installed device and uh, only after that I said that I want to use the main branch. So I will need to kind of regenerate the uh, device initializer. So I'll go to device.rb. I will uh, remove this file. And once again, I will say uh, rail generate device install. Uh, let's run this command. Okay, now I can't run it because we already have device inside our users. So I will go to user.rb, disable device. I'll also go to roots, disable device, run rails generate device install once again. I'll enable device in roots and in user. And let's go to our device model. And here we see two new lines that were not present in the non-master uh, branches of device. Responders, error status, and processable entry, and responders, redirect status, see other. And with these two lines inside our initializer, 
it should uh, in theory work. So once again, I will click sign up and here you see the errors have been rendered. I'll go to log in and it works. Okay, let me try to add a link to sign out. So uh, actually I'll just copy it from here so that I don't need to type it in once again. So if signed in button to log out, data turbo false, else the login or register. Let's see if it works. So here I have my email, I have log out button, I click log out and you see I have logged out. And that's basically it. So things to remember is that use device uh, main branch and uh, in the device initializer you need to have these two lines. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.